now to meet our objective of um, operating in the fiscal year that this levy addresses um, at close to what we expect to spend. The budget and appropriation ordinance provides permission to spend, but we don't spend that amount in the all the years that I've been on this board. We have always attempted to have the budget include uh, money for things that might have to be addressed, but that we don't address unless we absolutely need to. So we've never spent the full amount that's in the budget. The, the levy amount can be adjusted in October or even at, in November. It has to be adopted by our November meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's no rush to do it tonight. And I would like to run the numbers again. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So we have this on the agenda for consideration, but it seems as though we should table this item uh, for future consideration at, post, at a, post a later the audit. meeting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Is that is that something I need a motion? So to? if it's adopted by the November meeting, does that mean it has to be approved in October? Is it, do you we have to approve it a month in advance? No, we would have to advance. approve it by November in order for it to be filed in early December. Okay. But the we, if there's no motion to approve the levy, we don't have to table it. Okay. Did anyone we 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 get it? Ben? Well, no, we tabled the hearing. Did no, we tabled the levy. We oh, did we also the table the levy? levy? All right, well, then we can table it again. Um, I will not be at the September board meeting, and we won't have all the information at the September board meeting. So the ideal time for us to consider this would be October, if that's possible. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going, I need to have a motion to table it. <coughs> Can I get a motion, Ron? I, I move to table the levy ordinance until uh, the October meeting. Can I get a second on that? I'll second it. Stuart, second? If I could just, uh, I appreciate the uh, extra time as a new member to help understand the budget process. I <laughs> just want to, you know, express my appreciation for uh, having more time, uh, waiting for a couple more months to vote on a levy. So, um, I'm not sure we need a roll call on this. Why don't you just do we it do. again? <laughs> okay. Just for practice. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee Olaf? Yes. Trustee Barshus? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Aye. Okay. Um, all right. We've gotten through our action items. We have some discussion items. The first one is the legislative breakfast, um, September 8th, on Friday morning. Um, here. Probably closer to the date, we'll have a better idea of who actually is coming. Um, but we usually have most of the, um, you know, somebody from New Trier, somebody um, from the school, you know, the other schools, the park board, the village, um, and occasionally some of the state uh, state uh, representatives as well. So I intend to attend. Uh, if and I, we can have one other attendee. So um, just send me an email if you want to come uh, would be my suggestion. OK? It typically, it's 7 to 9, and that's pretty accurate in terms of the timing. Where so just send me an email. To, and the library. Yeah. I think it starts at 7.30, actually. Oh. Okay. I think we put seven just for us to get there a little early so we can um, set yeah, up and there's stuff. There's goodies, too. And there's <laughs> coffee. And, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. But um, I think the in, the other invitees come at 7.30. Okay. I mean, I'd be happy to go, but yeah. I see them otherwise, so I will defer to oh, no, my I, colleagues. I, I, no, no, I, I, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't make it. I'd like to go, too, but I'll maybe go next year. I'm going to be out of town, so I can't. Yeah. So. I, I can't go either. Okay. Dan, Dan, do you see? Good? Okay. I guess Dan was the first one to raise his hand, well, so but, there you But I, I said, I, I see them, so I, yeah. no, no, no oh, I'm, saying, I'm saying I'd, I'd be happy to. But you can't? But because I see them, if anyone else would like to, uh -oh. I would okay. defer well, to Well, why don't we just, I mean, somehow we will find another we'll member. Although, if nobody else comes, and that has happened a number of times, too, where we just have one member, 
but um, Ginny's here. Sometimes she's come, and so we'll. Okay. We'll I would just suggest that it would be entirely appropriate for our newest member to be at that event. Yeah. Okay, we'll figure out something. Um, all right. The next item is, you know, our strategic plan, um, which. Uh, you know, mark it in red letters on your calendar. Um, Thursday, August 4th, uh, August 24th, 9.30 to 12.30. Are you going to be able to do that, Dan? Uh, I'm tentative at best. Yeah. I have one request. Is there a way that we can email him and ask him if, because he talked about using markers, and in the material he had sent before he talked about using scented markers and if that's the case i would request that he not use scented markers absolutely <laughs> that's a fair request <laughs> i didn't even <laughs> track on oh, that I, at I all remember and that. i'm sure people who have a sensitive for that i'm more or aware of it, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So. all right so um the material is behind <laughs> here Janet, i probably can't do that Try to look at it. Come with your best thoughts. Well, you if you can't, sent. just remember to take a look, and if you have questions that you want addressed, let, us oh, know. No. let somebody know. There will also be, be lots of opportunities to be involved in this strategic yeah. yeah, I'm plan. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is just the first kind of setting expectations meeting, and then he will have a separate meeting just with the board as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looked like, it, it looked like, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, I just want to reassure yeah. everyone oh, yeah. right. that there's yeah. going to be lots of... You don't want to spend of, three hours <laughs> plus lunch. <laughs> lots of opportunities. It looked like a very early goal yeah, we're not getting lunch. You're getting you get breakfast. You get oh, okay. breakfast. You leave by lunchtime. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, yeah you leave by lunchtime. You said something about lunch, my treat, and I thought, well, no, that's our that's treat. That's with Heather. <laughs> that's with Heather and yeah. Okay. So, she will go to meet okay. separately. Um, but we will get breakfast. Okay. Uh, provided um, by Panera. Okay. All right. So um, we're looking forward to that. There's also. That'll be interesting. And that was just scheduled um, an upcoming I'm gonna be here for facilities minutes. committee meeting. Mm -hmm. And what is the date that that's being? Wednesday, October, August 30th. 30th, yeah. Okay. And that's for the members of the committee is Ginny, uh, Jan, yep. and, and Ron. And, Ron. Mm -hmm. and of course, all and members. And And me. Um, we're, but any all board members are of course invited and the specific item on the agenda there is the landscaping right. and the signage signage yeah which we sort of took talked a little bit we talked about the signage a bit last the last meeting and realized we needed to sort of dig into that a bit mm -hmm. um, director's report okay. All right, so um, we have one of our monitors retiring, Ed, so we are hiring a new security monitor. I, um, I'm also increasing that to a part-time daytime security monitor, which we've not had before. Mm -hmm. um, our current situation is just evenings and weekends, and uh, we all felt as a staff that it would be best to have a daytime monitor at least once in a while as well um, because we we do have security issues and behavior issues and building issues and things that we really need assistance with so uh, we're doing that uh, we are continuing our learn while you earn sessions for staff for professional development. Mm -hmm. I went to a workshop with Beck Tench. I don't know if any of you know who Beck Tench is, but um, she uh, has really interesting ideas about bringing contemplative practice into our workplaces. Hmm. And what that means is um, finding ways of allowing staff to recharge and connect with each other and, and um, recalibrate the way we approach the work to encourage creativity and innovation uh, as well as <coughs> to reflect 
a lot of times we're always like, go, 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 and that can be a recipe for burnout. So she had some really interesting, pragmatic ideas on how to avoid that. So it was it was very interesting. We also talked about bringing contemplative practices to our communities because, as we know, we are currently in a, a very stressful time in our history and. Um, we talked a lot about our role as a community institution in building um, relationships with people and helping them meet uh, their neighbors, but also strangers who they may not know, but who um, they could learn from. So we talked about ways of doing that as well as providing a haven for people. Um, if you remember during the Ferguson situation, the library stayed open. Yep. Um, and provided uh, even something as simple as water or a respite from what's going on or um, internet access. We don't always talk about our role in that way, but um, more and more I think it's important that we do talk about it, that um, we are open to all and that we want to provide that safe haven for people when they need it and that space to, to contemplative. Yeah. Yeah. Along that line, I just uh, <clears throat> just to throw out an idea when you're talking about contemplative for the staff. Right. Might be nice to have something that would invite library patrons in who just wanted to de-stress. Oh, well, that's what she'd say. Yeah. yeah. No, this is for staff. Well, no, but she had said that they were looking at bringing it in. Oh. Yeah. But right. Oh, exactly. Okay. For okay. both, you're saying for both staff and for patrons? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sort of a need. Mm-hmm. There was a university library that even had like a meditation room for their oh, students. That's nice. Yeah, and I thought, you know, maybe our periodicals room, maybe it could transform into sort of a, you know, a Friday night meditate just on Friday nights or something. <laughs> Not gonna take it away, <laughs> but like you know, just tr um, a spot for mm -hmm. people to yeah. to come in and, and breathe and right. relax. It'd be interesting to kind of yeah, experiment with that because I think you might get more response, you know, than you might imagine. So yeah. You so, might, yeah. You might. Good Interesting. No, anyway, not a room like it used to be that supposedly the Japanese had, where you could go in and dash China against the wall. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the ground, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Labyrinth. Yeah. A labyrinth. A maze. A labyrinth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 We need to have that's Tai Chi classes on that. Comes that comes the landscape. Yeah. The landscape yeah. and the signage. That's where you get the labyrinth right there. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just think you know, there's so much we can do to help our community feel embrace yeah you know we all need that in these times well, when I'm thinking about obviously yeah. the word library comes from Latin word book right I mean that's what li I mean, the library comes from but but in today's world as we've evolved as a library we're really more about being a resource to the community and to your points that you just made part of being a resource is, is offering this this contemplative and a pl a contemplative option and, and way to kind of um, de-stress de-stress yeah yeah, yeah. And, and you know yeah. And readers live longer. There you go. In science. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because we have other things to think about as we're We could put that in the paper we if we science. had someone writing an article for the paper about how readers live longer. <laughs> ultimate readers. <laughs> <laughs> we better have some medical knowledge to back that one up. Um, That's heavy handed spin. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones that know are the ones that read the studies, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, I've been to several Kenilworth board meetings. They've passed uh, the V and A and O, so they're on track. Everything's doing fine. We just had our audit. Everything was smooth. Um, they'll bring back our results in October. Uh, we've been doing IFLAR. <coughs> Uh, facilities, uh, we already talked about the HVAC unit. The LED lighting is a big project. We keep at it. Yeah. Only yeah. 600 bulbs to go. We're on our way. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, KI Furniture is going to be here the week of September 25th to replace the office furniture and, and technical services. Just a, uh, do, so we have budgeted for these things, the mm -hmm. LED lights, and that's already been taken care of. Thought so. Mm -hmm. Is anybody from Kenilworth coming to the strategic planning? Oh, that's a good Did idea. you invite anybody? Um, oh, on the 25th? Uh -huh. um, that is an excellent suggestion. Because I think that might be helpful. Yes. Except that my, my notes said it was the 24th. 
Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Is, yeah. Yeah. I, I said 25th. I missed it. 25th. No, it's the 24th. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, summer reading has been great. We uh -huh. saw an increase in participation across the board for all ages. And I hope flowers with the seed packets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, we are refreshing our annual art show. We're doing it a little differently yeah. this fall. Good. Good, um, good. I'm very excited about this. We're going to have a theme um, every quarter, and we're going to encourage com um, our community to come bring us their works based upon that theme. So it's for all ages. We feel it's more inclusive and it allows more people to participate and it takes away the competitive jury aspects, which was causing a lot of unnecessary stress. Uh -huh. um, so we're gonna try to do that. I think the first thing theme is community and the second one is beginnings or something like that. So do any of the school kids do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to open it up to all ages, so, yeah. I mean, like, are the art classes in the junior high, are they kind of plugged in? That's a good question. I don't know, but I'll ask our youth services that question. Let's see, yeah. It'd be kind of fun. Because mm -hmm. I know Northfield Library has features in the display, some of the students' work. Yeah, really I mean, nice. I know we already do stuff in children's, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how often they use the yeah, auditorium to display, too, yeah. so. Yeah.